What's up, people? It's your boy, Joshua. I'm here today in Kerbal Space Program, and we're actually going to go into the top five great and bad things that happened in Kerbal Space Program for 2019. You're probably wondering why. Well, I have 6,759 hours in bloody Kerbal Space Program, so I'm not saying I'm an expert or anything, but I have a lot of time spent in the game, so there's that. So this is just my little personal list of things that I actually found exciting or found actually pretty bad in Kerbal Space Program. Or sometimes it's a mixed bag between the both. So let's dive right in and get into the top five awesome or bad changes in KSP for 2019. Number five good thing the unity update it added so much more potential to the game added a, a bit more performance to the game as well and it actually opened up a lot better tools on the back end but it also took a hit to the modding community once again as we had to update a lot of our mods to the latest unity and so this did cause a bit of a snafu which some of the mods are still trying to overcome number five bad thing lack of stock multiplayer still now we understand at this point that it is not coming and we understand that it's something that they would have to do a massive rewrite to undertake we understand this but it doesn't lessen the blow at all because it is something that we really really do enjoy in the modding community uh, with Luna multiplayer, Dark multiplayer, they offer great options, but at the same time, we would need something that's a bit more stock because, well, you run into issues with mods with different things that are missing in the game and, and latency and lag, and you will run into several issues with uh, that the game will actually need to change in order for that to happen and so it's just not viable and we understand it's not viable but it doesn't lessen the blow at all number four good thing we have enhanced visuals in 2019 they've released quite a few updates that has offered some enhanced terrain visuals which makes it a bit more palatable to go off the surface of Kerbin. you have a lot better terrain looks and you have planet shine you have a number of things that are now built in the enhanced terrain looks really beautiful when you turn it on and it doesn't too badly hit the performance of the system that you're running it on number four bad thing here's where the asterisk comes in for unity update is the unity update because there's been additional crashes i've actually received them myself several times where you get this delightful little kerbal popping up on the screen with an exclamation point and that kerbal is basically telling you hey something done messed up and you're screwed and so number three of the good things is propellers. I love the propellers, kind of. We received three different types of propellers. These fan blades that you see on this chopper that perform absolutely fantastically. They are my go-to for any project. And then you have the helicopter blades, which are my least favorite of the three. And that's because they tend to be a lot more twitchy than the other two. And whereas the propeller blades and the fan blades I have gotten the hang of and have found many uses for, as well as their sizes being rather small in comparison to the helicopter blades, the helicopter blades tend to be oversized and then you have to worry about a tail rotor and that does not always play out very well. So my go-to instead is to use the fan blades along with an SAS and that gives me the maneuverability that I actually prefer. The propeller blades I do use but I have found that the fan blades give me just as much 
thrust as the propeller blades were giving me and it's actually a more condensed area and I can squeeze them into their protective shrouds. This means I can keep my propeller blades protected while at the same time getting a pretty good velocity going forward. Number three for the bad. The performance of getting crafts into the air with a few hundred parts has always been a bit daunting and unfortunately it still is. It's something that has not improved significantly enough for me to say it's resolved. So if I go out and I launch a craft that has 400 parts on it and I happen to use uh, for instance a propeller blade as the chassis for a missile it it will slow down the entire game and the whole thing will end up being maybe 20 frames per second which is absolutely dreadful number two spot for the good is robotics robotics came along and changed the game they gave you these rotors which you can do a number of fantastic things hinges pistons there are so many fantastic uh, applications for these parts you can make running mechs walking mechs you can make roto mechs you can make choppers you can all these things you can do with these and the, the it just gets limited by your creativity and of course our little caveat here which is going to be our number two item for our bad is that the they have some pretty terrible hinge systems so if you get on one of the actuating servos you'll see that you cannot give very much weight to them before they start flopping around so you'll have an engine you'll mount on it and it'll just start flipping around and it's not very sturdy at all so you have to come up with creative ways to work around that which it can be kind of fun to do but very very frustrating in the long run when you realize that you actually cannot do these things that you wanted to do because the part just cannot handle it number one good thing for 2019 is going to be grip pads believe it or not yes grip pads these infinitely usable grip pads you can use them as the body of a chopper like I do here and it gives your craft amazing stability and it's very sturdy they can take a high impact speed and they are extremely light and they can be used as robotic feats. They have excellent grip. They have different ver uh, different levels of grip available. And the, the dark ones, the darker it gets, the more grip. So the ones for the legs on this chopper, those are actually extreme grip, grip pads. And they are all toggleable within the space plane hangar. It makes for some really awesome uh, protection because you can use them as armor to protect the more delicate parts of your craft as you can see here the battery is currently protected with a grip pad so I know that if I impact something with that battery that grip pad's going to take the, the blunt the brunt of that damage the blunt of the damage the brunt of the damage and I can keep on going and our number one thing that is going to be for the bad is going to be still the lack of incentive to go to space you can you can build an orbital space base if you wanted you can build one on a planet but once you've done these things several times well they're not as fun as they used to be they're just another thing to do and you don't feel like docking anymore you can of course you can use mech jet but now it's going to take some of the fun out of it so it's really it's really still have all the all the need to go to space right now uh, now I would love to see something like extra planetary launch pads makes it make its way to stock because then you can just build a base on another planet literally build it from parts and deploy it at that planet and still flying it over because let's be realistic, if we go to Mars, we're going to be printing things. We're going to be building things on Mars. We're not going to be 
constantly flying every single module over. It's just not going to happen. So we really need to be able to do that in the game. And that would be fantastic to do stock. So the most exciting announcement of the year is going to be Kerbal Space Program 2. Oh my goodness, I had the opportunity and everything that surrounds KSP2 has been super exciting for me. I had the opportunity to go to Seattle with my wife to PAX. And when we went to PAX, we I met with the team that is creating Kerbal Space Program 2 and they are an amazing team and I want to once again thank them for having us and showing us what they have worked so far and you know hearing us out a lot of the community uh, leaders hearing us out and hearing what we have to say during that time my wife and I we actually met Scott Manley and and it was amazing who Scott Manley is kind of like you know my Kerbal Space Program hero. <laughs> so it was such a fantastic thing to meet him, and uh, it was it was so great. Uh, Scott Manley, Nate, and Nate, um, and of Star Theory, and it, it was just so 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 fantastic uh, to fly out there and meet everyone and just have a fantastic time. I. I will say that was my highlight of 2019 as far as KSP goes. Now the most surprising thing, the most surprising thing that's Kerbal Space Program related is actually, did you do you remember Harvester? Well Harvester, yeah, that same Harvester, the creator of Kerbal Space Program, his idea, <laughs> well he's been working on another project, one by the name of Balsa. And Balsa looks really cool. Balsa also has multiplayer. Balsa has dynamic parts. Balsa looks absolutely amazing. Even though it's not a game about going to space, it is a game that touches my heart because it is about making your airplanes. Now, if the if he could, it would be awesome to see him actually do something with uh, uh, maybe some sea, uh, some uh, some naval craft, maybe some some land craft. Uh, but I know it's still very much so in the works. He's focusing on airplanes, and procedural parts are available, and it looks like it's going to be a very fun uh, multiplayer game that you can just jump in with your friends, fly airplanes, shoot each other down with paintballs, or shoot at each other with paintballs. Uh, it's so amazing. There's stunts you can do in there. It's all built into the game, and these are things that we've been doing on our LMP server, so why would I not want to do that? I am awaiting that. I will purchase it, and I will support Harvester and his endeavors as well. Um, now, KSP2, yes, I am definitely waiting on that one. Uh, it has everything I really would like to see and do as well, uh, except for it can go to space and it's going to hopefully have water that I can splash down in and, and a surface that I can drive my tanks around on and it's going to have multiplayer as confirmed feature. So it's very exciting. It's going to be a very exciting next year. I'm going to lose my mind. But it is 60 bucks. That's the thing that makes a lot of people kind of nervous is that it's 60 bucks. But you know what? It's If it's 60 bucks of you playing a game for five, six, seven years, then it's worth it. It's definitely worth it. But that is my list of my 2019 great and bad things that have occurred and... Let me know what you think. What would be your top five good and top five bad things that have happened in Kerbal Space Program this year for you? Uh, definitely let us know in the comments down below, and I hope to catch you guys in the next video. For now, it's your boy Jatois, and I'm out. Peace.